Hey guys, welcome back to another snapshot video. So today we got a couple bug fixes and changes to the Skulk Sensor, Calibrated Skulk Sensor, Shrieker, and the Enchantment Table mechanics. So let's start with the Shrieker. A waterlogged Shrieker will now muffle the sounds. That's a normal one, and if you waterlog it, it still shrieks, but you can't hear it. Nevertheless, if you have a Shrieker that can summon wardens, even if it is waterlogged, yeah, can still summon a warden. Let's see. There he is. Next, let's take a look at the Skulk Sensor. So both the calibrated Skulk Sensor and the normal Skulk Sensor will now strongly power blocks below them. To trigger this, you can see the redstone dust here turns on. This doesn't extend to blocks on the side, so only the one below. Yeah, we also see another change already. So the calibrated Skulk Sensor has a cooldown of 20 ticks or one second instead of 40 ticks or two seconds like the normal Skulk Sensor. Additionally, the calibrated Skulk Sensor can now be triggered from up to 16 blocks away. So here you can see the maximum distance where both Skulk Sensors are triggered. And now only the calibrated one go further out. Up to this point it still gets triggered, but this would be too far away. 16 blocks. And last, the calibrated Skulk Sensor can now also receive signals at the input side through blocks. So here we got a signal strength of 12 right now, so the Skulk Sensor wouldn't react to block placing, but block breaking. Yeah, you can also change that, set it to 15, then wouldn't react to any block placing or breaking events. And this works with all the modes you can imagine, so you can have target block here on the side, also work. So not only block placing will be detected. There we go. So this basically makes it now also possible to water lock yeah, the calibrated skulk block and still have no water spilling to the sides. So I think those are definitely some yeah nice quality of life changes to the skulk sensor. It's appreciated. Let's move on and let's talk about a quality of life a bug fix for the enchantment table bookshelf interaction. So you need to surround the enchantment table with 15 bookshelves to get the full yeah, level 30 enchantments. So you put a book in there, you can get up to level 30. If you have blocks here in between the bookshelves and the enchantment table, then the bookshelf is basically blocked. So if we try this again, nope, can't get to 30 anymore because the bookshelves are blocked. And this yeah, affected pretty much every block except air blocks. So some people were sometimes struggling with this because they didn't realize that maybe a grass here um, or once it snows that some snow layers would also block the bookshelf. So the enchantment setup for some reason after it snowed wouldn't work anymore and people got a bit confused and this is now fixed because there's a new block tag. Uh, we can search it. Yeah, here, enchantment, power, transmitter, block tag on the snow layer and also the grass here. So the type of effect that blocks are mostly plants is actually a little bit random. So we've got here, for example, grass, fern and so on. Water, lava is fine. Then also the nether plants and for some reason two tall flowers as well, so like a rose bush. You can see we still can get to level 30, but yeah, not all the tall flowers. The new pitcher plant, for example, is still blocked. So the list of yeah, things that still block it is a little bit random. Uh, for some reason also small flowers don't work. Uh, for example, let's try a poppy. Doesn't have this block tag yet. I'm pretty sure this will be just fixed in the next week. Probably, yeah, something that keeps the developers busy now to add all the exceptions or things that should be added to this list. Um, yeah, a bit confusing right now, but in doubt you can always just check the block tags. Yeah, okay, since we can now also have water in between, it's now also possible to make underwater yeah, enchantment table setups, which wasn't possible before. But again, here, uh, some blocks were in sort of, for example, kelp right now still blocks it. So I'm sure this will be fixed eventually. And of course, it would also be nice if the enchantment table could be waterlocked to give you know, a better immersion of underwater setups, I guess. 
Let's also briefly talk about some of the changes in last week's snapshot. There weren't a lot, that's why I didn't make a separate video about it. But uh, now we have the opportunity. So last week, unfortunately, my favorite plant, the, the pitcher plant, was kind of fixed. So this could be used yeah, in case you don't need a supporting block under the yeah, pitcher plant with pot below to make a wizard cage because it had the unique property that it extended one pixel lower than usual. Um, this was now fixed in a way that well, it doesn't completely change how the block works, but we can't easily get this yeah, pitcher plant anymore in survival because if you break the farmlet, now it pops off. Really unfortunate. <laughs> Would have hoped that it stays the same way. Um, yeah, we also fixed the, the yeah, bug that it only required either one or two bone meal. Seems like now each bone meal increases by one stage. So four bone meal attempts to get the pitcher plant. One last thing to check out in the desert permit. One suspicious sand is now exposed to the surface. So here in the very corner, you can see the suspicious sand. But of course, that's not the only one. It's still worth to dig around and find more. Yeah. Here we got the next one. So that's all for today. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.